hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video we are going to be making this remedy for those as well from hair thinning and shedding if your hair is getting thinner maybe you used to have a thicker hair or you're suffering from any form of scalp disease like hair dryness irritation inches dandruff all sorts of scalp conditions that can stunt your growth this treatment is for you So guys let's get started our first ingredient we are going to be using fresh rosemary leaf rosemary is very beneficial for general health of the hair rosemary is very effective in correcting itching scalp rosemary has also been found to help stimulate new hair growth and can even be used to treat androgenetic alopecia some of the nutrients found in rosemary can also be used to increase the thickness of the hair while preventing hair thinning and hair loss also, rosemary contains vitamin C, which is a great source of antioxidant for the scalp. Our next ingredient is hibiscus flower, which contains amino acid, which is also called keratin. Hibiscus help to nourish the hair follicles, soften the hair, and make it more manageable. Hibiscus also help to thicken and add volume to the hair. It helps to treat dandruff, condition your hair, a grace freeze, or any form of dryness and breakage. Up next is our fenugreek seed. This is another very popular seed that is used for hair treatment. It helps to stimulate the blood flow on the scalp and also nourish the hair follicles to promote faster and healthier hair growth. It also has an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory property that help with dandruff and any form of scalp conditions. So guys, the first thing you need to do is boil your hot water. You can do this with your pot or anything you want to use, but I prefer to use my electric pot. So make sure your water is boiling, then rinse your uh, rosemary. Make sure you rinse this way because I just got this is a fresh leaf. So you might want to rinse it for about two times, even though you're still going to cook it. Is it advisable to actually rinse it off? So you go ahead and transfer your rosemary into the boiling water. And you go ahead and add in your hibiscus flour hibiscus flour is highly highly potent so you might want to add very little don't go ahead and add as much uh, a lot just add maybe three or four or five leaves then i went ahead and also add a tablespoon of my fenugreek then i let this boil for like 10 minutes at this point you guys can see that all the leaf all the goodness from the leaf we are using just three ingredients fenugreek fresh rosemary and hibiscus flour so at this point they've all infused into the water you just go ahead and drain it out at this point i realized that my my the, the rubber i was using to drain this if you can look very closely is broken so i just went ahead and switch it all you have to do is just strain out the water because it's the water you are going to be needing as your spray this spray is very potent because they contain fresh leaves like uh, rosemary and very high, very potent ingredient like hibiscus so you might want to add in a lot of water into this maybe for a section you can add in up to uh, two cup of water so at this point the spray is ready and i'll go ahead and show you guys how i apply it to my hair so this is what my hair looking like my hair is quite clean because this uh spray i'm applying this spray like two days after my wash day so i'll just go ahead and show you guys how i apply this into my hair first of all is that as you guys know i like to work in section like working in section just give you the uh, it just permits you to have control of your hair and also be able to apply whatever you're applying very well so i work in section and i will just make sure i spray this on my scalp and also my hair strand after that i will go ahead and and also spray it on my end your end is the oldest part of your hair don't forget that and they even need more attention because they are very very uh, more open to breakage at this point i'll go ahead and use my hair butter and seal in this so guys, before we continue i would like to announce to you guys that my hair grow butter is finally 
let me show you guys it's finally ready for sale and i have it on my business uh instagram page not png i'm gonna put the link of that instagram in this video I'll take it straight to my business page my instagram business page so you can order for this hair growth butter if you want and also we also have our uh, egg root oil and it is very very much available for sale if you're within nigeria you can order i will deliver to you anywhere that you are this is our hair butter and this is our hair growth oil so if you want any of these it is on it's on it's currently on sale right now so after applying this spray to my hair you guys know you have to seal in your spray the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take my hair growth butter i'm going to take my butter and this butter is not just ordinary butter it's also infused with ayurvedic ingredient also the oil too is infused with ayurvedic ingredient too so guys if you want to know this uh products we have our hair growth butter and our hair growth oil it is up on my instagram page my business instagram page not png i'm going to put a link to that page you can order and i'll deliver to you anywhere you are within nigeria and anywhere else you are you want to buy this do let me know and let me see if i can deliver to you so guys at this point i will use my butter to seal in my moisture that's the work of butter it helps to seal in whatever thing you're adding to your hair maybe your spray maybe your conditioner maybe your moisturizer you need butter to seal in if not you're not going to you the moisture in your hair is not going to last especially people like me that have eye porosity hair i can moisturize my hair this night and i'll wake up in the morning with dry hair if i don't seal it in so what i do is that i use my butter to seal in my moisture and doing this my hair is always moisturized moisturized hair is a happy hair and if your hair is moisturized forget about dryness one of the biggest reason why you experience hair, hair dryness which causes hair breakage is because you don't seal in your moisture with what you're supposed to i have a pressed hair so i use butter as my sealant because it's more heavy and it's more thicker some people use oil as a sealant and that's totally fine but i use butter and i also use oil sometimes so to allow this treatment sitting into my hair for at least for as long as i'm going to carry my hair i will seal it in with butter with this the treatment is trapped into my hair so guys at this point this is what it looks like even the butter help a lot and my hair is a lot moisturized you guys saw how dry my hair was in the beginning now my hair is very very moisturized and shiny at this point if you want to put your hair in a protective style you can go ahead and just put your hair in a protective style maybe a cornrow if you want to braid your hair at this point your hair is safe it is treated it is moisturized and it is safe to braid i don't know what happened to my camera but it came so blurry but i hope you guys can see me but you guys my hair felt so good my hair felt really really soft this treatment is like the new rice water because the fact that you can carry this treatment in your hair i don't want to wash it you don't have to wash it out it's what i love about it and the three ingredients are one of my favorite ingredients that i use mostly for my diy hair treatment so guys that's what i share on my channel i talk about everything regarding healthy hair how you can make your own products how you can make your own diy ingredients to treat your hair that's what i do here on my channel if this look like the kind of video you like to watch please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys